Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're connecting from. Today is a very special day. Uh, today we're going to have our Microsoft 365 platform community call, but we're going to have it. We're going to have a little bit of a twist. We had some email threads internally at Microsoft trying to find a, a good speaker, someone that is comfortable with speaking with large audiences. And it looks like today we're going to have Satya Nadella, right? That will be live broadcasting from the Microsoft Ignite keynote. Well, I think we're going to mainly take advantage of the fact that Ignite keynote is happening at the same time. And we're going to paste in the chat all the links to, to make sure that you can see the keynote and everything is going to also be available in the slides. But before we move on to the Microsoft Ignite keynote, actually the second Ignite for this 2021, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the latest updates and news on the Microsoft 365 platform. We're going to do a little bit of a picture time. And finally, we will be moving on to uh, the Satya Ignite keynote. So let's keep going. A couple of things we wanted to mention before we move on. Um, M365 development and platform has a ton of different resources. All of these resources are available on our uh, PNP landing page, so aka.ms slash M365 PNP, where you're going to find our YouTube channel built by our own internal developers, PMs at Microsoft, teaching and announcing so some of the great uh, features we have in M365. But we also have the same thing with our community videos, where a bunch of our MVPs and community members are creating videos to highlight some of the greatness that they're building um, as part of their work, as part of their passion for M365. We also have all of our open source initiatives from the SharePoint repo to the PNP repo, the Office Dev and the Microsoft Graph. There's tons of ways to contribute and to get um, from that amazing community. So I invite you all to go in all of these different GitHub repositories and find what suits you best. If you're looking for a very specific thing or you're really looking to the art of the possible, we have a list of different sample galleries from Teams to SPFX, the Power Platform, uh, SPFX extensions, list formatting, and much more. All of the links are on, on their screen right here if you want to uh, just have a look. And please follow the at M, uh, Microsoft 365 Dev and at M365 PNP accounts to get all the latest directly in your Twitter feed. Today might be a very busy day for Twitter. I invite you to add the hashtag MSIgnite um, to your search where it, it's going to be quite busy uh, for today. That is for sure. Remember? You always have the ability to register to the Microsoft 365 Developer Program. So if you want to play with Microsoft 365 as a developer, we grant you access to free E5 Developer Tenants and a bunch of other assets. So uh, follow that link, create your account, and you're going to get a tenant where you're going to have full control as you definitely don't want to do some of the Microsoft 365 development things on a production tenant or on your organization tenant. You want to be able to work inside a tenant that you have full control. So feel free to have a look at this program. It's super useful. I'm, I'm still using mine on a daily basis, so definitely something to, um, to look at. Learn. You want to learn more about the Microsoft 365 platform? Well, we have a great way to get started. We have a ton of learn resources from Microsoft Learn on uh, extending Microsoft 365. We have a new one um, regarding extending Microsoft Viva Connections that went out last week. All of these free training modules are available, are self-paced, and are all available in our Learn channel. So have a look, go there, and, uh, and be awesome at learning new things around the M365 platform. I discussed a little bit earlier about how we have a ton of different sample galleries. We are currently conducting a preview on our unified Microsoft 365 sample gallery, which highlights more than 500 samples, just 
put that in, in, into perspective, 500 samples that can get you started with your work, that can get you right away in, inside something that you want to, to make it work. You want to look into uh, an SPF extra part that does something, let's do it. That would be absolutely awesome. So aka.ms slash m365 slash samples, or you can filter, search, and find exactly what you're looking for. And there it's currently in preview. If you have any feedback, feel free to send that into the chat. But we're looking at putting that in general availability at some point in time. Your feedback is super important for us here. A couple of guidance. You want to learn how to get started in the open source PMP community? David, why don't you drive us through the uh, sharing is caring opportunity? Awesome. Thanks, Seb. Well, friends, as Seb had just highlighted on the previous slide, there are tons of samples available. And did you know you can contribute to those samples to be available to the entire world? But we understand that there are some hurdles or fear moments that might prevent you from getting more involved, either consuming those samples or even contributing back. Sharing is Caring is a program that's going to provide you hands-on, free, safe space opportunity and guidance to learn how to do these things. So never used GitHub? No problem. We got you. You want to present on one of the community call demos and presentations? No problem. We're going to provide you some tips and tricks on being a presenter. So many opportunities. Our newest Power Platform samples, first-time contributor sessions, getting a lot of press. We're scheduling a lot of those to kind of saturate the market and get everybody involved. And of course, the ever-popular AMAs coming up in the next couple of weeks, CLI for Microsoft 365 and PNPJS. And hot off the presses, we're looking to do a recurring Microsoft Graph and MGT AMA with Seb as the all-star guest. So get excited about that. Again, safe space, do not record. There are excellent opportunities to come in, ask questions that you might be a little uneasy about if you were being recorded. We want to help you get involved, aka ms forward slash sharing is caring sub back to you awesome thanks david there are multiple ways to learn we discussed about getting access to the developer program then afterwards the learn modules the samples but there's also different ways youtube is one but we also have different podcasts available including the microsoft 365 developer podcast it's a weekly podcast re really focusing on everything M365 developers. You can go and hear from Jeremy Fake and Paul Schaeflein at m365devpodcast.com. That's one of my favorite podcasts that I always listen when I go run outside. Always great to learn. Always hear from a couple of friends, but also from new faces. So if you have something to say, reach out to these folks. They're going to be happy to host you in one of these a great sessions. Well, Ignite is today. So today we're going to do the Ignite watch party. Feel free, you're going to need to register to Ignite. So ignite.microsoft.com. You're going to be able to register there to create your account, being able to add stuff to your backpack, add session to your scheduler, where you will be able to go back in a couple of, of days and rewatch some of these sessions, uh, keep up with the insane amount of news that are going to be announced today, tomorrow, and the day after. So before we go into the Ignite Watch Party, you really need to go on and make yourself an attendee, register yourself. Please do that now before it's too late. You really want to be part of it. It's free. Why wouldn't you uh, register to that? Before we go with our together mode uh, moment, we would absolutely uh, love to highlight some of the latest blog posts that were uh, made available in the last seven days since our last weekly topic. One from our M365 developer blog post around learn how to extend Microsoft Viva connections from Rabia Williams from our cloud advocacy team. Amazing learning path on doing tons of customization to connections using SPFX and a, a, a ton of other techniques. Really, really, really super powerful stuff right there. A couple of Microsoft Teams news that also appeared in the last seven days, one around the Microsoft 365 App Compliance Program. If you're not aware what about the App Compliance Program is a way for ISVs to really get the trust from their customers because there are ways now to certify your app or at least to 
do a publisher verification, to do an attestation of your app, and finally to do a certification. And we highlight them in our portal. So definitely something to look at if you're building solutions for tons of different customers. Um, new Microsoft Teams features that are improving the call and the meeting experiences. We had uh, even today a new uh, blog post around Teams call quality insights with uh, super interesting to learn about how these are happening, what, what is new and how people are contacting each other, how they're calling each other, super interesting blog post. And finally, what's new in Microsoft Teams for October, 2021. I expect that slide to be overwhelming next week. We'll see how we manage that. Is it that we're gonna have like 25 different slides or that we might just send you one link and have the full book of news? We're gonna figure this out for next week. Until then, let's do our uh, optional picture time before we go on and we move on to Ignite Watch Party. Everybody get your, uh, if you wanna participate, feel free to open up your camera Awesome. So everybody, 15 seconds to get into the picture. There's still there's still room for everybody to join. Let me actually do this. So let me one second. Oh, oh, I will share oh. my screen. Okay. Uh, awesome. So let's, let's do that. So sorry, sorry, sorry. Now everybody's already waving. Uh, let me share my screen. Uh, was actually absolutely taking... okay. And uh, let me not yet, not yet. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Starting, starting, starting. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we're recording. Now, this is actually awesome. Great to see this many people in the call. <laughs> Action. <laughs> really, really cool. <laughs> Somebody said a group photo. I'm here. So, excellent. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I think it's time actually to go jump to the <laughs> actual keynote. So, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, let me, uh, I'll quickly share uh, the slide here just so everybody get the chance to uh, see the link right there. Awesome. You should be able to find the keynote thing right there. Feel free to comment in the chat. We're gonna come back by the end of the session to discuss, ask questions, um, talk about the different uh, announcements. So feel free to jump in and let's talk together all. Cheers everybody. And we are back here. Thanks, Vista, for sharing all these awesome links right there. The like couple of innovations to for Teams, for hybrid work, Power Platform, Microsoft Lists. I don't know what you guys are doing today, but I guess you're reading a lot of blog content like I will also. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a lot of lot of interesting stuff for sure. So really really cool uh, stuff. Um, uh, and I got uh, the bingo. So what am I? Yeah. Doing? What was your last one that you? <laughs> I think meta metaverse is always like if you bet on that one, so you never lose. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we we got but, surprise at the end. <laughs> I think it was a relatively though. It was a bit on a wording which I wasn't expecting because the meta has nowadays a more broader meaning. So. You never know. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, absolutely. Uh, let let me ask you all a question, and, and feel free to respond in the chat. But what for you? What is the highlight of that keynote? What's the the announcement that um, and that, that that makes you dream about the future? That inspires you. I'd love to hear hear from you. Nick says that marks of loop looks quite interesting. Yeah. Um, as we as we chatted on the on the chat already, it's basically the product built on top of the Floyd framework, and there will be interesting uh, the, uh, development opportunities there as well. So um, later, I think they will be announced later this week. So really cool stuff. Absolutely, the metaverse thing definitely uh, being part of an avatar in a Teams meeting, uh, the code the code pilot absolutely. <laughs> the legs thing still still <laughs> still a thing i agree uh there has to be a, a a reason behind that uh anyways in meetings you never see like i, I don't even know if this has legs so it's like i don't know we you never have know. To, you never know <laughs> um uh power plot on the pro dev side definitely i think that's that's quite interesting there's going to be a ton of announcement this week's on 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 the power platform 
yeah, I think it, it's great to see all, all that movement, right? It, I think it, it's inspiring from a, a dev side of things. You want to be able to take advantage of that and, and build apps that are, yeah, that might be living a little bit in the future. Uh, that's how I think about it. Like you, the apps you're going to build are, will be available, like are, are going to be future proof and will be forward thinking at the same time. Uh, I think there's going to be also down to earth announcements that will unblock you from your projects right now. So that I, I like what Ignite provides here. It's always these two types of announcements, forward thinking announcements, but also super useful stuff right there. Cool. Well, I think that's what about we go through the links on the developer uh, community stuff, and then we close out a little bit early to give everyone the opportunity to continue with Ignite, right? We have a, a good couple of M365 dev community calls. I invite you all to join them. Uh, this week, I don't know for all of the, the schedules uh, there, but some might have also Ignite watch parties for specific sessions. So feel free to look with all of these. You can find all the calls and all the assets on the AKMS slash M365 PNP. All of these calls are right there, and there's a bunch of them. So feel free to join them, add them to your calendar, and uh, spend the time with us in in the in next few calls. Thank you so much. The recording, and I would assume the first 15 minutes of the recording of today will be available on our YouTube channel. Look it up over there. Our next M365 platform call will be on November 9th at 8 a.m. Pacific. And if you want to catch up on previous community calls, aka.ms slash M365 PNP, you're going to find all of them right there. Folks, thank you so much for joining. I wish you a great Ignite. Let's pretend we're all in a conference room or even an expo hall where we can share a coffee, a drink, a bottle of water, or anything you prefer. We're missing a little bit the, uh, the in-person, but feel free to join Ignite. Get your brain filled with all of these great announcements, and let's talk about them next week. Cheers, everybody. Thanks, Ed. Thanks, everybody.